So I'd like to demonstrate today how to use a crock pot and a crock pot express turbo. Uh, one has a turbo button, which means it increases the pressure um, in comparison to the other one. There's two modes of cooking here and I'm going to demonstrate them side by side. Um, you can potentially use one for both, but this just speeds up the process. So we have honey garlic prawns. We have the prawns, which are raw and frozen. We have some sunflower vegetable oil. We have some corn flour, ginger, which is pre-frozen in a cube, in a microwave for 30 seconds, which defrosts it. Same for the garlic, in a cube, frozen, microwave for 30 seconds, which defrosts it. We then have soy sauce, which is one cup of soy sauce. We then have honey, which is a third of a cup of soy sauce. And I forgot to mention a teaspoon of corn flour, a tablespoon of sunflower oil, the cubes come pre-sorted but that's approximately a tablespoon of ginger, approximately a tablespoon of garlic and 400 grams of frozen raw prawns. We have a cup of water and equipment we have a steamer. So this is an ordinary trivet, you can get for about five to ten pounds, order them or buy them from the shops. So side by side, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the Crock Pot Express Turbo as a steamer or a pressure cooker. So we have the manual. Now I generally only use the manual option. So we can add the steamer, add the water, or vice versa, add the prawns, the raw prawns. And then change the time, which is the bottom right buttons, mark the time to one minute, which is the lowest setting. We then want to put the lid on. So with this, we have unlock and lock, that just pressurizes, that depressurizes and lets the steam through the vent. So we want to set it to lock, and then we have an arrow, which will drop down onto the unlock bring it round to the lock we then press start so start which is the flashing button there one minute good to go and that will take a bit of time to heat up so meanwhile whilst we're doing the steaming we can then create the sauce so with this we want to go to saute so that is brown saute one button here so we have two buttons mainly that are used and we've got saute and that's the same for the Instant Pot Express, which is here, or we have manual, which is here and here. They're very visible, so nice and easy to see. So we want to saute, and we don't have to worry about the time on the saute. So it comes preset 30, which is fine. So you can see it's saying heat and it's saying heat. So that's um, work its way up to temperature. The other thing I'm looking to do is just use plain and simple two minute rice. Um, you can get them from any supermarket, put them in the microwave two minutes and you've got rice ready to go. Meanwhile, we can add the oil. And that should begin to heat up. With this, obviously, you, the crock pot express, you would need to use a lid because you need to make sure it's pressurized. With the crock pot using it as a saute, it's not pressurized, so you don't need to use a lid. However, there is a slight difference with this lid. Um, this is the original crock pot, which has a slightly different shape of uh, top, which is this one here. And obviously you've got your pressurized and unpressurized. So if I was using that as an instant pot and pressurized cooker, I'd have to do the same as the instant pot express, bring it onto pressure cook, light the arrow and turn it. However, that's not something I need to do because I'm using basically as a frying pan. And this we use as a steamer. We 
The great thing about these is, as you can see, no fuss, no hassle, no mess. They pretty much take care of themselves. The other benefit being they're plug-in electric, they're very portable and versatile. You can take them wherever you want to take them, as long as there's a power point, and they're very efficient. You can see the amount of space also that's being used. So you can see, again, probably about a square meter of space that's required. The other benefit with these is they clean very, very easily. They're all non-stick. The Crockpot Express Turbo will come up to heat slightly quicker um, in comparison, like for like, if you're doing the same thing with each. Um, it seems to have a slightly upgraded heat element. It's got the status here, which is showing how close it is to being ready to uh, lock down, come up to pressure and to begin cooking. Once it's locked down, it's up to pressure, it'll begin cooking, it'll start the countdown. But at the moment, you can still see heat and heat, so we're just waiting for the heat to come up. This one here, oh yeah, that's lovely and hot, right. So that's pretty much there ready to fry. I mean, you can wait for it to, to, to fully heat, but in all fairness, we should be ready to go. So with that in mind, we want to fry the ginger. So just add the ginger here. Turn on the extractor. Um, and then we have the garlic, which is this one here. Do also recommend a spatula. So you get the last couple of bits out and a few bits left over. Just one of those. Good stir. So we've got the garlic and the ginger in there now. And fry for about a minute or so. So I wouldn't recommend tilting these pots, but generally it's okay. You can see it's frying well there nicely. Frying mode isn't such an issue, but you definitely don't want to be tilting them if they're full of liquid. and soy sauce. So up the honey and again handy spatula. There we go. Give that a mix. Now the reason I'm doing them side by side is just speed and uh, efficiency really. Um, obviously doing one at a time is absolutely fine. It will take a bit longer because you've got to wait for uh, the thorns to, to cook and heat. And then obviously you've got to activate the sauce, put it all together. So I can get the sauce ready in one pan and then obviously I can cook the thorns in the other and hope that it should speed up the process a little. Right, so now we can add the soy sauce. Soy sauce, away. So that's nearly there now. So that's all the ingredients in and away. Meanwhile, got two minute rice, and back to the microwave. As with a little rubber funnel, I suppose you call it, should you need to, you can add that spare to the top there, which diverts the seam. So technically, you can call it a seam diverter. Stop the seam blasting up into the ceiling, you can blast it out instead. Well, that's really coming up to temperature now, that's coming up to pressure, and that's 
That's cooking away nicely. Right, so this is cooking. Now whilst that's frying, you can see that's frazzling. We have corn flour, just a bit of that. And then a bit of spot of water. Just a cup. Say a cup, maybe a small cup, tiny little sprinkle. This will just relate to how thick or thin the sauce is. So the more water you add, the thinner the sauce will be or the thicker the sauce will be. Okay, so I've just switched that off now. Just waiting for the prawns. And that's just come up to temperature, so that's come up to one minute. Um, the time has kicked off and we're just waiting for 50 seconds. Once the 50 seconds is done, we can then move the Prawns over to the to the other instant pot, or instant pot, pot, pot express, um, and we're good to go. Although pot, pot, and instant pot are almost synonymous, so you tend to kind of use them interchangeably. Um, in the same way, you use vacuum and Hoover. Um, these are specific brands. They are the appliances are pressure cookers by definition. So, rice is done, we have two minute rice. Get some scissors, just cut the top off because that's a bit on the hot side. Now all we need, fortunately, the dishwasher. And that's done. So you heard that beep, that means it's done. So we can then release the pressure by turning them into the dial. Meanwhile, two plates, one, two. And then we put some rice on each plate. So a bit of rice here. And a bit of rice here. So that did stop and then it went to the keep warm setting. We don't need it to keep warm just depressurised so I can switch that off by the button and I can use the plug to turn the power off full stop. So I can unplug that one. This one, I'll keep that on for a minute. Although the actual unit switched off, I'll keep it plugged in. Sauce. So we've got the prawns in the sauce, just marinating there for the moment. Because the sauce is already heated up and ready, we can just give that a stir and give it a moment. Meanwhile, the great thing about this is this one steam is filled up with water. So all I need to do is just boil hot water, let's pour it down the sink. Once it's cooled, it's nice and easy to run some soapy water around. Right, that's looking ready to go. Prawn 
almost ready to go. What did you eat? Hello, I'm cooking lunch. Yummy prawns. Here we have garlic prawns. 